This is a tag for junk journaling or journaling that I created for a swap that I am participating in in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Next Media. So my channel is, of course, Two Old Crows Next Media, and I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. And it is hopefully going to be quick, easy, concise, to the point content. So what I am going to do is laminate some flower petals and I just pulled some little clover flowers, some lavender out of my garden and I'm just breaking these apart and kind of piecing them together and I have them lying on a laminating screen. I have a laminating machine that I have never ever used. It was in my office and we closed our offices and went to working from home about four to five years ago and they sent the laminating machine home with me to be the guardian of the lamination and i have not used it once since since we shut my office down so i thought this would be a good time to to get that out and give it a try so i'm just positioning petals and we'll fold that top. You can see this opens up, this uh, laminating folder just opens up and I'll fold that down, run that, put this in the, the little carrier and run it to the laminating machine. And there the, the clover turned to juice. So the heat was too much for that. I put a fern in there that worked out fine. I tried to cut that with my hole punch and it wasn't sharp enough to cut through the lamination. So I'm going to stick this on my cutter and we'll just cut it out in a square that will fit on the back of the tag that I have cut out. And we'll lay that fern aside. I'm going to pull some watercolor paper and just cut it into three inch by six inch size. That is going to be appropriate for my tag. I'll cut a couple of them because I need to create one to give to my partner and one for her to decorate. This I actually need two because I'm going to kind of create an experiment slide sort of thing with, with the um, lamination. So I have two cut exactly alike. They line up great. Now let's check that lamination. It's going to lay in there nicely. So we have those little laminated petals. And now let's decorate this up. So I am choosing a portrait pink. I need to clean my brayers. I need to clean my gel presses. I don't have enough time to do that, so we're going to go with what we have. So I have a, a portrait pale pink, and I'm going to run it across my brayer in a light coat and run a stencil across that as well. And that creates a very fine light coat of that pale pink. And I'm just going to dab up my remaining paint with the extra pieces I have cut here. And now I'm going to put some fuchsia down or some darker pink and use the same stencil, go over the top of it and just hit the gel press again with that. So there is one side of our tag. Let's clean this off and we'll start with the portrait pink. Oh, and we have some extra, extra pink in there from that we didn't get off, so we'll go with it. And there is the other side of the card. I'm happy with, with those as is. So let's just clean up the rest of this ink, or not ink, paint. Yeah. I hope you caught me earlier referring to it as ink. It is acrylic paint. And now we'll glue down our laminated piece.
and sandwich it in between the two cards that we cut. And I've decided to pull it apart so I can ink around the inside of that circle. So we will do that on both sides and then we will glue again. And fortunately, in using this art glitter glue that I was fast enough to get that apart because that has a real quick hold. So let's do that once again. And there we go. See, I think that definition around the inside of, of the circle looks much better. Just trim this up. Now I have my little template that I created with a hotel key card and just, uh, you know, cut a diagonal across the edge of that card and, and I just flip it to create my tags. And then I will pull a hole punch after I ink around the outside edges and ink up a spot to insert my sorry silk. There we go going to measure that first to make sure that I'm getting that centered there. Because I hate to have a tag all put together and then punch the hole and look at it and have it be off center. That drives me nuts. So I have this little uh, saying. It says, you do you. So I'm going to use that and put it on the card. But first I have cut these little flowers. The theme of this tag is supposed to be Mayflowers. So I've chosen the pink and I have cut uh, these little flowers with the thinlet die on this, the little Sissic thinlet dies. I've run them through my Big Shot machine and I am going to glue that onto the front of this card. And I cut those out of scrapbooking paper in the shades of pink. Actually, just used kind of what I had left over from, from my blackboard journal. There we go. Just getting it all in here and down. So we have that in position. There. Now let's trim up our you do you and decide where we're going to put that. We'll ink that up a bit too when we decide on the positioning. I think like that will probably look best. So let's give it a little vintage ink and we'll flip it, flip the uh, card over. And I have put a piece of that same scrapbooking paper I cut the flower out of in a square on the back. And I just put the a square of coffee stained paper. And now I'm just going to ink this up with some pale pink and vintage photo. And we'll glue that down. Just giving it a little more of this pale, pale pink. This is actually Tattered Rose is the name of this ink. It's a Distress Ink, Tattered, tattered Rose. And now I'll pull out the liquid pearls and we'll find a pale pink liquid pearl and we'll stick four dots there and once dry we'll turn that over and stick two dots on the front on either side of the quote you do you and now we have some pink and gold sari silk 
we'll pull that through the hole we punched and that completes the card. So there you have it. We'll let that dry and it is complete to be sent off to my, to my partner in the slot. So I hope she enjoys. Again, my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Cosmics Media. Thank you for being here and watching this video. I hope you take a moment and subscribe. I try to upload content weekly that is short, concise, and to the point. And if you enjoy that, please come back and join me. I appreciate the likes, the comments I read and respond to. I appreciate those very much as well. Bye for now.